this one is 3.14 here we need to calculate the internal forces and moments acting at section 1 which is right here and section 2 which is right here so this is a simply supported beam and which has this horizontal force acting on this so let's look at the reactions first so this is a roller support on B so this is going to have only Y reaction and we have a pin support at A that's why we'll have both RAX and RAY here so if I do the force balance for this global assembly so I can write in the X direction RAX plus 400 equals to 0 or RAX equals to minus 400 newtons now your RAY plus RBY because there is no other force in the y direction will be equals to 0. If I take moment about this point A, this 400 force is sitting at a distance of 150. So 400 times 150 millimeters will be equals to this RBY times 250 plus 150 meaning 400. So RBY times 400 mm here. So this 400, 400 cancels out. So we get RBY equals to 150 newtons. And this tells us that RAY is also equals to minus 150 newtons. So these are the two reactions we have got. RBY here and RAY right here. And RAX value is this right here. So now let's focus on these sections. So let's go to section 1. So if I separate this section 1 out. And if I focus on the top part, there is this force 400 Newton here, this point C. And when I cut this face open, the normal to this face is going to be in the negative Y direction. So if this is a negative face, and you can uh, watch the problem 3.13 where I have discussed the sign convention in detail. So since it's a negative face, the forces that you're going to have on this face will all be in the negative direction. So your actual force is going to be downwards. Your shear force is going to be negative X direction and your bending moment is going to be in the negative Z direction. So negative Z direction is going to be this right here. And this is assuming that this is your X, this is your Y and this one is your Z right here. So let's call this axial force as Fy, shear force as Fx here and this moment as Mz at section 1. For section 1 we can put 1 as a superscript there. Now this distance right here is 150 millimeters. We can do the force balance here. So from force balance, we can see there is no force in the y direction. So this is equal to zero. And your Vx in this case is going to be 400 newtons. Now for the moment, I can take moment about this point. If I take moment about this point, you can see that your Mz1 is going to be clockwise. And this 400 also is going to be clockwise. So with the minus sign 400 times, 150 Newton millimeter. So if I simplify this, I can write your MZ1 is going to be minus 60 Newton meter. This mm, this thousand can be written as meter. So these are the two values of moment and force that we have got at this section. Now let's look at this section two right here. So for section two, I will select this beam from here to here so on this side we have ray here we have rax and since this is a face that has a normal in the positive x direction the expected forces are axial force positive x direction shear force in the y direction and a bending moment in the positive z direction so let's call this mbz b is for bending and z is for the direction here now this one also we can denote this by mbz here mbz there so now we can do the force balance for this problem you can see that your fx value in this case is equals to minus rax and since the value of rax is minus 400 so this gives us fx value as 400 newtons which is the axial force value your shear force in this case vy is going to be minus ray and ray value is minus 150 so this gives us py equals to 150 newtons and we can take movement about this point right here so 
your MBZ at this point will balance the movement because of RAY and this distance is 250 Newton there so it's going to be RAY times 250 mm and the value of RAY is minus 150 so y minus 150 Newtons times 250 mm there so your MBZ value is minus 37.25 Newton meters.